Welcome back, sentient beings. This is Sudo AI here to discuss a text-driven image and video diffusion model called DreamX under active research and development by Google. What is exciting about this tool, you may wonder? Oh, maybe the fact that once more mature and released into the wild, it can easily revolutionize content creation across all media spectrum, from short-form media like YouTube Shorts, TikTok, to long-form media like YouTube itself. Say goodbye to After Effects and stock video footage and say hello to DreamX. So how is this possible and what makes this model so special? This is the first diffusion-based method applied to videos capable to perform motion and general editing based on a textual prompt while maintaining spatio-temporal information. The beauty of this model is that it can ingest a single image, video, or subject-driven series of images all in a single model. This is done by manipulating the inputs to have a homogeneous structure before being input into their DreamX video editor model. In the case of a single image, the image is duplicated with various perspective transforms and optical perturbations done to create several frames of images in essence to form an initial video of sorts from which their model will fine-tune. Speaking of fine-tuning, these inputs are then downsampled, meaning a reduction in resolution, plus some added noise, adding that good old DreamX fine-tuning special sauce, pass through their diffusion model, and voila, moving through a field on fire. This technology is damn impressive. Not only is it capable of maintaining the same environment and adding additional effects, like an aforementioned case of fire field, saxophone player with musical notes, which, by the way, would be something you'd have to use software were like After Effects to create, <laughs> not anymore, sorry for the tangent, but also replace the subject matter like replacing the contents of a pot with noodles that move fairly realistically while being stirred, or a truck coasting in a parking lot instead coasting on the coast, into some water with the water affecting the driving of the vehicle. The model has demonstrated capability of preserving the environment and changing the object of action like replacing fruit with some cake or by changing the environment and object like in the case of a robot hand writing on a desk. However, not to stroke its ego, there is still room for improvement. Just take a look at that hand and drawing a circle. That is most certainly not the proper hand motion to do that. Those previous examples are from a video-based input. What about a single image input? Well, just take a look. All you need is a single image. One, I might naturally suggest you don't even need to draw yourself. Use any AI image generator like Midjourney or Dolly 2 or whatever, and proceed to generate an animation GIF doing minimal work. It can maintain the spirit and style of the source image while adding things not necessarily included in the original image. For example, adding the buff Buffalo and birds not seen in the source image, or a grizzly bear and birds walking and flying around in the environment. It can even take the image, not really adding anything like in the case of the pouring coffee, but it adds some camera movement and fills the cup with the coffee, filling at a reasonable rate and sloshing around while it does so. There are definitely improvements to be made. The videos are a bit fuzzy, kind of losing some detail and definition, but this is certainly a good starting point for better and better models to be created. And if we take a look at the subject-driven generation, we can see that a series of images with a common subject in a different non-connected positions and in entirely different backgrounds can be combined in such a way to do completely different motions even against a completely different background as in the example of the caterpillar on a leaf. So what does it all mean for content creators? Well simply put, it can replace some of the workflow, time, and money for things that may have once taken hours to do yourself or tens or, or hundreds of dollars in subscriptions or one-time fees to have this work done for you. Need a stock video footage? Simply grab an image, any image, and create the perfect clip that suits your needs. Want to keep the footage you have, but want to add some animations and effects? Simple. Just simply type the effects you need and presto, there they are. No need to spend hours animating a project. I think tools like this, once mature, will drastically change how content is created and will provide a great outlet for very unique niche content to be created. I could imagine this being used for storyboarding or even creating simple feature shorts in the vein of Pixar shorts. It certainly doesn't even need to be animated. The sky's the limit. Anyways, I have rambled on long enough about this. I'll let you all go. And your reward for sticking around to this point, I'll let you all subscribe to me because I'm just that nice. Also, here's some stock footage of something cute because I can't use this tool yet. Anyways, see you all next time.